Hi YouTube, this is Saffron TP for all and I have a manga review for you. Uh the Guen Saga Manga, The Seven Magi Volume One. This is a three book series that um it's not okay, if you didn't notice, the Guen Saga is Japan's leading heroic fantasy series. Um this is not an adaption of that book series. This is uh, an adaption of the, some side stories. Okay, if you don't know what the story of the Gwen Saga is, I'm going to tell you. After awakening in a forest with a leopard mask fixed to his head and no memory of his past, a peerless warrior survives the treacherous wilds of Nosferus and the mean intrigue, intrigues of the middle country. Now as king of Sharonia, he must contend with dark horses that dare to prey on his realm. Yeah, okay, it starts off with there's the Black Plague is in Sharona and people are dying from it and people are so scared that they go to extreme lengths to try to rid with it. Uh, to battle this, he goes what the fuck is it called? Uh, he goes to this place. Oh, it's called the Alley of Charms. He goes to the place called the Alley of Charms, where seven m mages or magi, whatever, live, and he wants to find uh, a cure for the Black Plague. And after that, he meets two. Okay, going there, he meets two people, Valusa. Uh, who he finds, she's a dancer or companion, whatever, and she is attacked by this demon spider. And he, and she, so you have a. F That's like the only real fight in this book, which kind of sucks. Um, cause the whole book is. Oh yeah, the other one is Owls, who's uh pimp who's trying to find the cure for the black plague for his uh sorry leading working lady Tina and you know you he meets some people you have conversations and this whole book it's trying to set up uh some some like something that's going to come like something bad and you get a little taste of what that thing is at the end of the book. Okay. I'm going to talk about the goods and the bads. Uh, my likes are good art. Uh, it's shaded to perfection. Good action. And... The overall story is okay. Um, dislikes a little to no character development. Because... To be honest, this is a book. This is for the Gwen Saga fans. Like, if you didn't haven't, this is supposed to be something extra for those people that haven't read the books. Or sorry, ha uh, I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh huh. Because I haven't read the books. I've seen a little bit of the anime, which is good. Um, because this takes place after the anime or the books. Okay, little no character development. And explanations for strange events that are occurring are vague. But then again, as you go along, it, they, pro they probably do an answer that. And, uh, besides from the good action, good art, the, the story and plot are decent. It's the basic, there's some, like, fantasy, action fantasy uh, plot. We have a hero who's getting ready for something. He has to confront it, whatever. Kind of like Beowulf, at like at the end, where he has to fight the dragon. Um, yeah. Um, this is I must own because the art's really good. The story is decent. Nothing to complain about. Um, you have some interesting characters in here. And. The dialogue is okay. It also, yeah, I think this is um, 
if you're looking for uh, a fantasy series, this is a must own. Uh, it reminds me a lot of of um, Berserk. Oh, I forgot to say who published it. It's published by Vertical Inc. Art by Kazuki uh, Inagisawa. Sorry, probably Inagisawa. I probably pronounced that wrong. Story by Kaoru Kirimoto. So yeah, I'm re I'm giving this a must own. That's all I gotta say. See you later.